transistors get hot and burnt out if you supply too much voltage and current to them, but how can you avoid this type of error when using transistors as an electronics engineer, or when you are new to transistors? This is what I am going to explain theoretically and practically to you in this video. Step by step, I am going to tell you in four different chapters that will make you master transistors in electronics and how to use them in electronics. The first thing is a brief definition of what a transistor is. And the second thing I will talk about is the types of transistors and how they work. The third thing I am also going to talk about is the applications of transistors. I will show you in practical terms. And the fourth thing I will explain to you is the working principle of transistor. So at the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what a transistor is and how they work. So stay to the end of this video. So let's get started. Welcome back. The first thing you need to know is what exactly is a transistor itself. And briefly, we can say that a transistor is an active semiconductor device that controls the flow of current and can amplify or switch electronic signals. In fact, a transistor is mostly used for amplification and switches. Transistors play a useful role in modern electronics. Various transistors are used in various applications, from simple amplifiers to complex microprocessors. They are fundamental components of modern electronics used in devices like smartphones and computers. Or we can say they are used in logic gates in integrated circuits and microcontrollers. They are used billions of times in devices we use today. So now that you know what a transistor is, let's talk about the part or terminal of a transistor. A typical transistor is composed of three layers of semiconductor materials, or more specifically, terminals that help to make a connection to an external circuit and carry the current. A voltage or current that is applied to any one pair of the terminals of a transistor controls the current through the other pair of terminals. Therefore, there are three terminals for a transistor. But these terminals are different. They are according to their type, which I will explain to you later. But the most common parts of a transistor are the emitter, base, and collector, which is for bipolar junction transistors. So now I hope you understand what a transistor is. Now let's go to the next chapter. Guys, before we go to the next chapter, I have very exciting news for you. For a while now, I have been getting a lot of questions, such as how to know about solar and inverter installations. How do I know the right components for solar? Where can I learn solar and inverter installations from? And how to start a solar inverter as a beginner? And many more. Well, if you are curious about anything like that, everything is now being revealed. And I'm glad to announce my full solar and inverter installations course, made in ebook format, is now available. You're going to be able to access everything I know about solar and inverter installations. Literally everything I've spent years learning is now being put in down in an easy to follow system. I lay out everything for you step by step. You can install solar inverters yourself, and you can learn yourself anywhere in the world with complete freedom. So if you want to learn this and start your journey today, just click on the link in my description below or in my bio. I am certain you are going to love it, so just scroll to the description or bio now and click the course link, and I will see you there. Welcome back. In this chapter, I'm going to explain and list the types of transistors, but before that, I want you to know that there are various types of transistors based on manufacturers, but there are some more common classifications of transistors, which are bipolar junction transistor known as BJT and field effect transistor known as FET. These two types of transistors also have various applications and how to use them. So now let me start to explain each of them one after the other. And the first type is the most common one, which is BJT known as bipolar junction transistor. A bipolar junction transistor is a three terminal semiconductor device that consists of two PN junctions that are able to amplify or magnify a signal. It is a current controlled device. The three terminals of BJT are the base, the collector, and the emitter. There are two types of bipolar junction transistors. The first is a PNP bipolar junction transistor, and the other type is an NPN bipolar junction transistor. In PNP BJT, the N-type semiconductor is sandwiched between the two P-type semiconductors, and in an NPN BJT, 
The P-type semiconductor is sandwiched between the two N-type semiconductors. Now that you understand what BJT is and its type, now let's talk about field effect transistors known as FETs. A field effect transistor, FET, is a type of transistor that uses an electric field to control the current flow through a semiconductor channel. FET has two types. The first is junction field effect transistor, JFET. In a JFET, the channel consists of semiconductor material, and the channel has two regions at each end. These are known as the source and the drain terminals. And the second type of FET is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET. Similar to JFETs, in MOSFETs, the channel is also formed by a semiconductor material, and it has two regions at either end, known as the source and drain terminals. MOSFETs can be further classified into two subtypes, enhancement mode and depletion mode and MOSFETs. So now I hope you understand everything about the types of transistors. Please slash on the like button, so let go to the next chapter. Now in this chapter, I will explain to you the function or the application of a transistor. In simple words, we can say that transistors use a switch and an amplifier, but they can be used in various aspects of circuits. For instance, transistors are used in various oscillators, LED flashers, modulators, detectors, switches, amplifiers, computer memory chips, and many other different circuits, but all these uses are solely based on the switch and amplifier of a transistor. Let's take this circuit as an example. I used a BC547 transistor, which is an NPN type. I used it as a switch. The emitter was connected to the ground and the collector was then connected to the negative terminal of the LED. While the positive terminal of the LED was in series with a resistor that was then connected to the positive input. Then what I did was use a fixed resistor to turn on the transistor by connecting the resistor to the base of the transistor, which the resistor was also connected to the positive input. Then the transistor is in and start. Make it work as an NPN transistor. So what I want you to know is that where I used a fixed resistor here, you can actually use a sensor to make the transistor turn on and off using electronics control. So now this is just a simple illustration of what a transistor is. And I hope you understand it. Please, if you understand, please comment. I want more of this so that it motivates me to create a better educational video about how things work in electronics. So now that you understand, please let us move to the next chapter. Yeah, welcome back here. This is the last chapter where I am going to explain to you about the working principle of transistor. I have mentioned it briefly earlier about it, but allow me to explain this way that a transistor consists of two PN diodes connected back to back. It has three terminals, namely emitter, base, and collector. The basic idea behind a transistor is that it lets you control the flow of current through one channel by varying the intensity of a much smaller current that's flowing through a second channel. The base serves as a gate controller device for a larger electric supply. The collector is a larger electrical supply, and the outlet of that supply is the emitter. The current flowing through the gate from the collector can be regulated by sending varying levels of current from the base. In this manner, a very small amount of current can be used to control a large amount of current, like in amplifiers. Transistor works as a switch or as an amplifier, so... Guys, with this little explanation of the working principle of transistors, if you do so, please click on the like button and thank you so much for watching to this point. If you really think this video is helpful, please comment. I need more. And if there is anything you want me to make a video on next, please write it in the comment section. And don't forget to click on my bio to get my full solar and inverter installation course. Have a wonderful day. Peace and love.